Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today, we're looking to answer the question, what is the best deck to ladder with? And I quite possibly think that the best deck right now to ladder with just to cruise through is the Nagalord deck. Because you're after a deck that can just, it's easy to play, just boot up quickly, smash through your opponent and can absolutely explode. And let me tell you, this guy can absolutely explode. So what does he actually do? Well, the attack that we've got here is the Jet Pierce attack for a Psychic Dark Colorless does a plain 180. But he's got the Violent Appetite ability, which once during our turn, we may discard a Pokemon from our hand. If we do, we get to heal 60 damage from this Pokemon, which is a nice little bit of healing that we've got that we can combo quite nicely with Mallow and Lana as well. But the attack that we also really like about this is the Chaotic Order GX attack. So basically, if we've got the same energy cost as our Jet Pierce attack, we can turn all our prize cards face up and then just pick two of our prize cards. So essentially, if we can get ourselves to four prize cards remaining, that's it, we win the game. That's that's the idea of the deck, is we get to four prize cards and we KO Quarter GX, take the last two prize cards and we win. So this deck sort of builds itself, I find. it. I don't think there's too many different variations you could possibly go with because the idea of it is just to explode. So you run a 4-4 Mischievous Miss Magius line, which just allows us to Mysterious Message and draw until we have seven cards, giving our opponent a prize card every time we KO this guy. And obviously we can do that on turn one because of the Dust Stone, allows us to search a Miss Magius from our deck, evolve a Mischievous straight into Miss Magius, and we're up and rolling to be able to KO this guy with a Mysterious Message. And we've just got ways that we can get our dust stones as well with the order pads as well as the mysterious treasures to be able to fetch our mischievous. And the idea is blow a couple of these guys up, then we're into our beast ring turns, and the beast ring turns just allows us to search our deck for a couple of energies, attach them to our Naga Lords, and we're up and attacking, preferably turn one of the game, putting absolutely nuts pressure on your opponent. Now, because these are all item cards that we're searching for, we've, like I said, got order pad to search them out, but we've also maxed out our bills analysis, which allows us to look at the top seven cards of our deck, Reveal two trainer cards we find there and then shuffle the rest in. So that can go and get our dust stones, our order pads, our beast rings, but it's also good right through the match because it can help us get our tag calls even just to set up things up. It can help us get great catches when we need them, it can help us just get the pieces that we need. Another little bonus to this deck though is because we are a Ultra Beast deck we can use the Beast Bringer, which if we have exactly six prize cards remaining and we KO an opponent's GX or EX Pokemon, but GX Pokemon in the current format, basically we allow us to take one extra prize. So if they've got a tag team that we're taking out with this, we only have to get one KO and then we just GX for game. That's it. And that's absolutely nuts. But it also makes the Dene's a real target here because we can quickly just great catch them up and attack and beast bringer take three prize cards easy as that and then we're only needing one more prize card to be able to win the match so it's absolutely insane the different sort of variations and combos that we've got there like i said we've got mallow and lana here for healing and switching um that just combos nicely with the violent appetite just a bit of healing between our two nagger lords uh we've got cynthia caitlin's maxed out on them so we're using a tag call engine for draw as well which also allows us to recycle um supporters so they could be recycled bills they could recycle mallow and lana's which is probably what we're doing a lot they can also recycle the ultra forest um carton void something like that um, which is just a nice card that allows us to basically hit through Keldeos and that's something that's really important because we're only attacking with GX Pokemon we need a way to get through the Keldeo and that's the way that we're doing uh, we're running 9 NGs, just a Beast NG because we're an Ultra Beast deck. And 4-4 four, four, um, with the Dark and Psychic. I find that's enough because the Beast Rings can search them out. And we don't want too many NGs clogging up our hand anyway. Just enough to NG attach, that's about it. And a Chaotic Spell, just the one copy because we might have a stadium that we need to knock out at some stage. And Chaotic Spell is just a nice stadium to have um, for that purpose. So that's really the deck. And I honestly think this is the best way to ladder right now. So let's show you some matches. Hello, Ultrakin, welcome. 
Ah. Not the best of starting hands. By a long way. By a country mile, to be honest. What's really bad here? I think what we can do is try and sacrifice some mischievous and start a little bit slower. So I doubt I'm getting much use out of Beast Bringer. Unless this is Ultra Mally. But even then, it's unlikely. I guess there's a chance. Pretty good start for you. And Lily as well. Couldn't have asked for too much more, I wouldn't have thought. Kind of put the Ultra Necrozma in my back. Go and get yourself Tina. Spell tag for the Tina. So you're ready to attack with the Tina for the next turn. So like I said, we'll just probably sack the Mistrevis that's sitting there. Should we just auto pad see if this flips heads? It does. Here's a question. What are we prioritizing? Let's get the dust stone. What we're saying here is you're getting the first tack off. So what we're going to do is, unless I like absolutely blow up to some amazing goodness here. So we'll get rid of this mess, Ma uh, Miss Magius. We'll dust stone the back line Mistrevis. We'll tag call two of these guys. One here, one here. One here. Tag call. I'll just pull these two out, I feel like. Or we'll actually is violent appetite, this guy, just so we don't have it anymore. Blow this up. Alright, so we're not attacking this turn. <laughs> That's what we've worked out here. Because we got all of our other Miss Magiuses. Beautiful. Not. <laughs> um, so if we're not attacking this turn, do we want to build or do we want to Cynthia and Caitlyn? I mean, Cynthia and Caitlyn's not getting me back anything at the moment, but he's drawing me some stuff. Bills could draw me some stuff and I know what I'm playing with. That's what we'll do. Draw some stuff. We'll get a uh, beast. We don't want the Dust Stone. That's a complete waste of time for us. It's only a waste of time because we drew both Miss Magiuses. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You've got to do what you got to do. Send the and Caitlin here. And yeah, for the moment, we'll just play it at that. No energy attachment yet, which is, well, that kind of sucks, but what can you do? So like I said, I'm assuming that you get the Mally up here and you're getting an NG into the bin. I just got to play it at that. And that you're blowing up. And if you don't, well, at the end of the day, we can blow up ourselves. We should be able to thin our hand enough to do that. So I feel like the Ultra Forest, this guy, is not going to be much good to us. There's the Mally. Get an NG in the bin, you did. And that's just an NG attachment. And then this mischievous goes. So that's fine. They're about seeing if we can heal as much as we can. Really, that's our game from here. See if Cynthia and Caitlin can draw us into something good. So 
Doesn't really matter which car we go into just at the moment. Alright, so we'll send here and Caitlin and shove this away. Do I want bills back? Might as well. Might as well. Get an NG, which is what we want. So we can now B string. Oh, we should have B stringed first. I think about that. Oh no, we wanted to draw an NG. No, that was, that was a good, good call. Grab two of these guys, to you. And then we want tag call, that's the thing we do want, but Bills could get me that. I could be fine with that. And you here. Miles of Mysterious Treasure, you wait. Go and get one of you. Why not? And for the moment, we'll just jet piss. Whack this Tina out. Get our first prize card. Gonna spell tag the front line. Still not a complete ideal setup just yet. Probably should have grabbed the other Nagalord when I think about it. Yeah, definitely should have. I mean, how are you attacking this turn? I doubt that you are. Unless you're trying to go with the Ultra Necrozma. That's the other way. The Ultra Necrozma can one-shot. That's something that is a bit sad. Tina's back. Spell tag's back. So you might just sacrifice the Tina here. Although you've NG attached. So I feel like you're not. You're going to stamp me back to five. Got beast NG. Not that I feel like we need it right now, but we've got it. We can stamp you back to four. We're not going to be able to avoid this guy's turn. Water pack could get me the tag call. But we've just got a fold. All right. Hello and welcome CeeLo GTR. And apparently I can't remove this without pressing something. And I accidentally pressed it again. Oh, it's gone. There we go. <laughs> It just wouldn't go. I was clicking away from it. I was clicking on it. I was. I'm going second. Do I want mischievous? Yes, because I've got dust stone straight away. That's fine. I feel like I've probably played both of those actually. Got Rayquaza, which means this will probably be attacking turn two and hitting big numbers turn two. So it kind of probably means I want bills first. Although, do I want to see if I can attack straight away? No, we want to be ultra aggressive here. We want to see if we can attack straight away. Put early pressure on. Because the advantage is, if we can take three prize cards, no, we still need two KOs, really. We hit a great number on this, though. Yeah, we'll be ultra aggressive here. Couple of early NGs. Ooh, losing the Skeptile is actually really good for me. It's really, really, really good for me. NG attached to you. What we do want to do is quickly, we'll drop the reset stamp for this. You're on three anyway, so stamp's not a big deal for us just the moment. Quickly go that, we'll quickly go this. Grab Miss Magius. And we'll blow you up. Beast Springer, that's what we like to see. Got a Beast Ring, got Dust Stone. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. Dust Stone. 
This Magius. So anything we don't want out of this. I mean, Great Catcher could be useful later on. Kind of got everything we need, so... <laughs> That's just Mysterious Treasure. Even though we didn't really want that, but oh well. Doesn't really matter just the minute. We're grabbing three prize cards off this first one. Got a Bills as well. Don't need another Beast Bringer, so we'll just get that to thin. Grab this out. Fine with that. Quickly, bills now. Uh, grab ourselves out. Ooh, we'll grab order pads because we want to set up. We could be devastating and great catcher as well here, which we're probably going to do. So we'll grab some order pads. See if we can get some heads on these. We'll probably get tails, but no, that's what it is. No, we got a heads there. Beast ring, awesome. So we got double beast ring early. Got beast energy sitting in hand as well. Not nah, just one, fifty percent. I'm okay with that. Beast ring, grab these two. Onto this guy. Beast ring. These two. Onto this guy. We'll also great catcher. These two away. Grab this guy up. And grab ourselves three prize cards. Boop! <laughs> and two of your energies are gone. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Wow, that is just a quick ramp up. It's amazing how quickly this deck can explode at times. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Hello, sick pole. Welcome. Oops. Just mulligan. Boom. Tell you what, we love finding the ultra forest. Carton V early when we don't need it. Carton Boy. Whatever you want to call it. Let's see how quickly we can blow up this time. Wow. I feel like this is very likely to be. Nuzzle Chew, given how many Pokemon's just suddenly gone down and it's lightning. Not the most ideal of starts. Okay. Definitely not Nuzzle Chew. Got a Choo Choo Pick a Rum deck. Going second, starting with the Naga Lord up front, which is not ideal. I actually can't believe how many Pokemon you started with. That's insane. And you can dead A change out of this too. And you got the Tapu Coco Prism. Like that's nearly an ideal start for this deck. What more could you could have you asked for? Getting a switch out of all that. And you're going first. You realise you can't attack just at the moment, right? Okay. Maybe you're worried about the dead A. You don't want a dead A change, which is fair enough. That's fair enough. What do we want to do here? I feel like keeping you is important. We're definitely Mysterious Treasuring. We want the Chaotic Swell. We do want that. Miss Magius is too important. We've got other Naga Lords. Grab Mistrevis. Uh, we'll bills, hope for the best. Order pads is looking like that's what we're doing. Alright, uh, water pad. We'll miss. It's less than ideal.
Ah, we'll hold. Certainly not blowing up quickly. I mean, you can retreat, I guess, and you can try and go the choo-choo option. Although, you're just going to hit for 10. Very interesting. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll blow you up. Hmm. I mean, Cynthia and Caitlin can still do it for us. We don't need this many dust stones. Get a bills back. It's got a pretty tough choice in these prize cards. So we'll send the end Caitlin here. Get rid of dust stone. Get bills back. See what we draw into. Another order pad. Can order pad do it for us? Oh, I can't. Wow. Alright, well, we're just holding. Not much happening here. On our end. We have to hope for bills to connect. So, two order pads failed. Either one ahead, and we're up and going. It wasn't to be. Tarachi. Probably flipping into that. So yeah, I have a feeling you're worried about the Dedane just sitting there. Especially while this is active, because that's potentially three prize cards, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough too. Gonna judge me. It's unfortunate because we have bills to try and get into something. A judge would cripple us a bit. Potentially, anyway. Although you know that I didn't fly off there, but you do know I've got the bills as well, so... It's a smart judge. Mysterious treasure, we can tag call out of it as well. So we are attacking this turn. I feel like it has to be a Cynthia and Caitlin. And I feel like we Cynthia and Caitlin here. I want to keep the NGs nearly now. Alright, we've got Mistrevis. Oh, I probably should have Mysterious Treasure first. Maybe I didn't want him. Um, chuck the NG to you. Kind of like keeping this next turn, but I know you've got judges. So we'll play it now. And for the moment, we'll just Jet Pierce. Take this out. Now you can probably feel free to play Dedane. Although it's still two prize cards if you drop a Dedane down. Got a Bills out of that. I'm pretty confident there's like... Unless you got a way to deal with this, that this Pigarom's a fair way away. And the damage that you're dealing, we can heal that up. Or heal at least part of it up, 60 of it up. With the Zappy. Can miss Magius our way. On the next turn. Got some E powers coming. Alright, so this is a pretty important turn for us. Got a stamp. We kind of want to stamp you to four. Instead, so Violent Appetite. Want to end your attach here. We 
We want to stand beat a four, but we want to max drawing. Ah, stuff it. We'll just mysterious treasure. Four's fine, hopefully. Given the board state. We get a beast ring. We didn't get a Mallow and Lana yet. That's what we're hoping for. Grab these two. Yep. To you. Chuck away you. Grab out ourselves. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna stamp you. Do we want a great catch or anything? We're not quite hitting enough, unless we get a beast NG at some stage. I'm feeling like we don't want a great catcher just yet. Wanna grab this, grab this. Although you can get that, so maybe not that. Another stamp could be handy at some stage. I mean, how many stamps do we want? But you can get the Mallow and Lana, so... Stamp, yep. Hold on to tackle just in case you stamp me because that gives me more options into things. And we'll just jet pierce here. So there's two of our prizes. We only need to work out our way into two more. If you chuck it to Dene down without doing two, like without stamping me or judging me, there's our access to the last two. So you really can't afford to dead any. Unless you can judge or stamp me. You need some e-switches. Which this deck should play. Yeah, it's rid of the chaotic well. There's the judge. That's the reason you're sitting in the deck still, tag call. Good. Got tag calls. We're happy. Do you get the E-switch? So once again, a big moment. You get the tag switch. So yes, you do. What's really bad about this is if we don't... We've got a Mallow Lana Hill here. Yeah, that's just what we do. Mallow and Lana Hill. We need more Mallow and Lanas though. Because we're gonna be hit with paralysis. Although, you're going that way. Interesting, cool. Alright, well, Bills. Grab Malana, Caitlyn, Cynthia. We're also going to grab double Caitlyn, Cynthia here. Or the other Caitlyn, Cynthia. We're going to Malon Lana. Discard this one and the Bills. Heal. Heal up another 90. And then Jet Pierce. So you might be able to deal with one of these this turn. No, in fact, you don't deal with either, do you? Oh, that great potion is clutch for you. 180. Oh, no. It's only got 110. No, it's not quite clutch. Not yet. So you have to full blitz here. No, you are going to tag bolt. No, you don't have to full blitz here. If you can get enough energies into play. Be interesting to see if you can. So. Get rid of that. Grab this back. We don't want to stamp you. We do...
want to Malalana switch on the next one and still be able to attack. Potentially. Base ring turn is tempting. Oh, we don't have anything. That sucks. Gets you of uh it hits for 160. Do we want to heal anyone? Not really. Not this turn. Because if you KO me, you KO me. Because the chaotic order gets me there. So we'll just jet pierce. Hit into you. Because now we're in chaotic order range. And I just feel like it doesn't matter who you hit out here. Yes, he put a lot of damage on the board. But you've got, like, a lot to do. On this particular turn. It's only a Viridian, so it's not even... Your Thunder Mountain. Putting Jirachi back. This would have to be a Dedene. Yup. What you're avoiding right at the start is the Dedene change. So that gives us just another win con. Is a great catcher into Dedene. But we've got the Chaotic Order. Which doesn't really matter. So you switch. You can attack. You can take out these three prize cards. But you need to be able to take out both at the same time. Because you can use the Viridian to get your other prize. That's your other prize, the other Lightning Energy. Or you can just use Volkner. So it's a little bit interesting that not using the Dedene early slowed you up. And I feel like you weren't using the Dedene early to try and protect yourself from me taking three prize cards early with a Beast Bringer. Which just slowed you up enough for me to take over in the game. So, yep, you got the three prize cards there. But, we just go out to GX. And take our final prize. And that's the game. Hello, Roy Voss. Welcome. Hmm. Certainly not what we're hoping. That's for sure. Got a lot of work to do if we're going to take off going second here. Although you're kind enough to mulligan three times for us. Bit of a dangerous deck, given that we're also going second against this. Got a Bills auto pad. I mean, that could do us quite nicely now. Although, coin flips aren't being kind to me on these order pads just at the moment. Peace bringers are a waste of time. Having said that, a stamp to four could be pretty brutal, potentially. Getting the lamp pent ready. I mean, greens is all you need, though, when you're out of that. So let's just see what the order pad does. Gets me a heads. What do we want here? We need mysterious treasure. Uh, what have we got in deck, by the way? Trip mischievous. Trip Miss Magius. So that feels fine. Oops. So we'll burn a Beast Bringer. Grab a Mistrevis. 
Chuck this down. Dust stone to our first Miss Magius. We want to keep our bills here. We probably want to burn this Miss Magius. Oh, uh, that's actually a big call. Maybe not when I think about it. Is that all I want out of this? Unless I want to burn another Naganadel. Or play both down. Having three down is not always the end of the world. That's how we'll play that. B Springer to you. It's only for three, but then Bills can try and save me, I guess. So, mysterious tread, uh, message. Bills is going to need to save me. I have mysterious treasure here, and we're up and rolling. No mysterious treasure, order pad for it. Grab the chaotic swell, because we can. So, can we get another heads? We can, nice. Luck's going to my favor at the moment. All right, well, mysterious treasure this away. Go and get a mischievous. We'll now eat you because I don't need you anymore. Mischievous down, dust stone, smagius, and we'll now buy an appetite. Get rid of this guy. Cut it swell. And get another four cards out of this. Hopefully get one energy card. That's what we want. Eh, beast energy is even better. Have we just won? <laughs> We've just won. Oh my. We have just won. That's cruel. I feel so bad now. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll give him a well played for staying out here. We just won as quickly as that. <laughs> when this deck just flies, it just flies. It just goes off. Absolutely off. Hello, Hossala. Welcome. So we're going to make decisions about how we're trying to negotiate this. We have to Cynthia and Caitlin here. To draw things. Oh, the dust stone. That's amazing. I don't like getting stamp, but we got more stamps. And I feel like the rest of this. Oh, we got more Cynthia and Caitlin's as well. Let's get rid of Cynthia and Caitlin. Get Mistrevis. Energy card to you. Dust stone. Get that Miss Magius. Tackle. We'll get two more of these down. I mean, they don't hurt to have three total. I don't feel. A reset stamp to five is better than you having the current six. We shall see whether that order pad does us anything. It does. Uh, we'll go and get... What do we need here? We've got the Mysterious Treasure. So we'll go and get ourselves out the Dust Stone. Uh, the Mysterious Treasure. This time it's for the Tag Call. Mallow and Lana. Because we can get Cynthia and Caitlin the next turn. Grab the Mischievous. In Dust Stone. I just want to. I just want to reset stamp here. Three is enough. I mean, we've got tag calls and we've got bills to try and find what we need on the next one. Got another NG we don't have ourselves. We'll tag call here. Go and get some Cynthia and Caitlin's. Do we want... No, we want options. Let's go and get Mal and Lana as well. 
I feel like we want to build now. There we go, beast rings, that's what we're searching for. Lovely. Beast ring. Go and get one of these, one of these. Uh, we need to be a little bit careful on how many psych engines we're pulling just at the moment. Chuck them onto you. Beast ring. On to this back guy. Stamp, yep. I mean, Beast Ring can sit here for another turn, I feel. But yeah, good first turn. <laughs> Pretty nuts. Stamp to four. Let's see what this Rowlegs can do. I mean, it's going to have a full evolution straight away, so that's a thing. It's going to have plenty of healing, I would have thought. Another Rowlegs up. Cynthia. So you had everything you need, so the reset stamp didn't hurt you too bad. We may need the Chaotic Swirl in this to help us with the amount of healing that this deck's going to have. Getting a dealing. Pike gear for a Cynthia. And can we send here and Caitlin go and get ourselves a Malalana back? I'm liking that idea. I found this is my only dark energy left, which yeah it is, unless I get the beast energy. Mm. What we'll do is send here and Caitlin. Just to draw some. Grab the Malalana back. Water pack could be good for next turn, just in case this runs away. B Springer could be absolutely clutch. I will NG attach here. Kind of like holding this hand. Because I can, yeah, I've got more options if I do. So we'll just jet pierce. Hit in the 180, see what healing you have. But now this Rowlegs is actually under legit threat. And if it runs away, we've got Autopad to try and make something happen. So you've got your Saws back up. Saws back up. Source back. <laughs> Got Viridian, so that's not Life Forest. I mean, it's pretty huge if you can't get this out of the active. And we got Malalanas to switch if you get this guy into the active. So by the looks of it, I think you've just used your super growth. Which now allows us to beast bring up. And right now we just don't want to do anything else other than Caitlyn Cynthia. Um, we'll drop here the Ultra Forest. Grab Bills, why not? Let's draw a few more cards. We've got the great catch if we haven't wanted it. I don't think we need anything just at the moment. So other than maybe eating this and eating this just so we don't get into them. Uh, anything else I want to thin out? We don't want to play the great catcher. We do want to thin out this dust stone. Grab the psychic Genji. There's no way to get this third one up, but we'll play it here. Uh, order pad, we'll thin that anyway. Yep, uh, we'll grab ourselves a stamp. That feels fine. Just to give you less cards to play with. 
And we've got the Melon Lanas. We'll keep you so we can chase that. This stage, we'll just Jet Pierce. Take the four prize cards. And put us in just a GX attack for game. Oh, the KX well was prized. So it's just a GX attack away from game. It's the only way I'm thinking that you, excuse me, uh, that you get back in this is to try and stall this guy in the active and somehow discard all these energies. Which your GX attack can do, can't it? Yeah. But that's a long way away. Still a couple of turns. Even with this guy here. If you could get full benefit from him. And you have to, like, get this guy in the active now. You have to stamp me. There's a lot you have to do. Because we don't even have to get our way through another Relics. The power of this deck sometimes is pretty huge. Especially when it like just flies off like that. I'm still seeing nothing that's going to stop me from winning on my next turn. You could argue I shouldn't play a third Nagalord. It's the only thing you could probably argue, but... It's Chaotic Order GX, and that's game. Wow, the power of that, when you literally only have to take out one tag team, and then you can GX a game, is insane. Well, slowly working our way on that uh, challenge there, <laughs> with the Nagalord. Hello, Vfonts. Welcome. All right. So Reshiram. That's oh, a Reshizard, not Reshiram. Reshizard. We go on first, second. Uh, we can explode first turn anyway, so we'll go Mistrevious up front. I mean, it's probably mischievous up front either way, to be honest. It's a pity we can't get into another Miss Magius. Oh, we got clowns in. Ask and you shall receive sometimes. Ask and you shall receive. What we'll do. We kind of want to keep the stamp, so we'll blow this up. Grab this. That seems fine to me. Quickly, we've got Tag Call to go and get another Cynthia and Caitlyn if we really need to, so that's my thought process there. We can draw five out of this, which sounds pretty good. Uh, we'll quickly put that there, blow you up. We've got a reset stand to put you back to four straight away if we need to. Got Bills, got another Dust Stone. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Just absolutely nuts. Absolutely insane. I mean, we could put you on the ultimate clock here. Or we could just wait a turn and see what happens. The only thing we don't necessarily have here, yeah. Waiting a turn and seeing what happens feels good, but so does stamping you to four. Stamping you to five. I mean, the Jirachi's here. Going second would be kind of nice here. Um, I 
Let's grab the Miss Magius. I understand Peter 4. I think that's the better way to play this. Let's order pad. Grab a base ring. Tag go. What we want out of this is Madalana. Grab one of these so I can empty it. Just quickly do this. Uh, yep, that's fine. No! It's supposed to eat that. My bad, my bad. Ah, uh, well, serious message. At least it allows us to burn dust stone straight away, I guess. But yeah, definitely my bad on that one. Um, in stamp in now, which is really good. I feel like holding the tag call right now is better. Peace ring, these two. To this guy. Do we have bills to still play? Maybe not. We'll tackle. Go and get ourselves out. Caitlyn Cynthia. No Lana. Why do you start playing music? Like, shut up, Siri. That was my phone. <laughs> um, bills now. Get ourselves a beast ring. Should I make it look like I had a stamp? Like, I just got this stamp. I think we shall. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I just, you know, got a stamp out of that. Stamp it back to four. Then beast rank. Get a couple of NGs. This guy. And hold. So we don't want to ever blow up this mismatch here, really. So we got Pidgeotto Blounds. We got the Elms straight away. So I want to stamp you again. Because I'm assuming you're going to get a whole heap of Pidgeottos. I want this Jirachi to be stuck. So the ideal turn here right now. Yeah. Is Jirachi to be stuck in the active. I blow up the Jirachi. Stamp you ba um, back again. That's what we're hoping for here. And hopefully miss the Pidgeottos. And get you really stuck. Just because you can one-shot me, and that scares me. That's what we're going for. Got a fiery flint. Alright. So, at least that's there. We've got the energy. So what we're going to do here, I feel like the Malalanas, but probably not going to get much use out of anyway. But we'll keep it, just in case. We'll grab the bills back. We'll draw. Quickly drop that. I don't know what I'm getting here. Water pad. I mean, it's a tails anyway. It doesn't matter. We'll just stamp you. Because I don't want those Pidgeotos in your hand. And we'll now Jet Pierce. So there's the first of the prize cards. So we need to hit another three. Before you really take control and get a lot of damage on. So, Blounds is here. Can you explode? That's the danger now. You can fire a flint. Two fire engines away, draw four. I wonder what that card is then. Possibly welder. Welder two on, draw three. And if you hit a couple of fire engines or a few more fire engines, it could be absolutely nuts for you. But you need six fire engines to get the KO. That's a lot. Feel like you don't have the welder then. Yes, that's good. Blaze. So you know where a Pidgeotto is if you ever get a KO. <laughs> That's something you do know. We got Chaotic Swell, which is absolutely nuts. That's what we want to do. So Chaotic Swell, we've got you've got lots of fire NGs. I know that about you. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, grab that. Uh, Tag Call can get that anyway. Bills. Yeah, that's what we'll grab. Um, we'll tackle. 
we oh yeah we could grab a Pokemon here and just burn it so it's out of my deck just in case I get stamped I know it's only 10 damage but just burn it got Malolanas to heal anyway uh, we'll burn the Beast Ring as well uh, grab both energies out Let's chuck them to you and yeah we'll just Jet Pierce smack through Blacephalon now you've got a couple of Fire Engies. Well, I'm pretty sure you've got at least three Fire Engies. That's what you've got. You didn't have any supporter last turn. And by the looks of it, you're not attacking this turn. So it's whether or not you can attack on the next turn and get the one shot. That's going to be the big killer now. Can you get the one shot on the next turn? We'll quickly... Just burn this. And grab bills back. I mean, I don't really want more bills, but anyway. We'll grab that. Is there anything we want out of our deck? We're not going to pull anything anyway. At least that's gone. Uh, we'll base ring. Just a burn up. It's trying to get rid of as many cards as possible. So we'll just jet pierce. We'll hold the mischievous because if you don't get much damage on, we just might as well eat it and get healing up. And we're one. Basically, we're one more turn away from just cruising to victory. So you got the Pidgeotto finally. Can you get the explosive turn off this? So you need to get a KO this turn. That's something you must do. So you must get six NGs into hand. There's three of them, plus an NG attachment, which is doable. Certainly is doable. There's the Fiery Flint, so you've got it. You got the KO this turn, but then you need the Welder on the next turn. That's what this game's probably gonna come down to. Whether or not you can get the welder and pull it all off again. Which is certainly doable. So, six energy's gone. Got a zero card hand. You won't take the Pidgeotto, because that'd be a waste. That one... Oh, so those three prize cards you take is going to be huge. Can I stamp you again? There is another stamp somewhere. And Bills can look at it all to see whether I can. Let's order pad, see if that gets it. Awesome, we'll stamp you back to one. Stamp. And I feel like we'll just appetite this. Mistrevis. And Jet Pierce. So, stamped you back to one. Your job, you need Welder and a way to get six NGs in one turn with one Pidgeotto. Can you do it? And custom catch me to the Miss Magius, unless you stamp me and get me out of my Mallow and Lana's. That's not an option. Kind of wish I didn't have the Miss Magia sitting there, but anyway. Got the Elms. That's not the card that you need. You need Welder. And you need Engies. And I feel like... Yeah, you didn't get that. <laughs> just those stamps just prove so valuable to disrupt you long enough for me to get over you. Good game. Good game. And it is time to rate this deck. And starting with damage here, we're hitting for a flat 180. I mean, yes, that can be up to 210 with the Beast NG attached to it. Um, so, you know, 210 is sort of the damage cap. We're a two-shot base deck, but we are so quick at getting into it. Plus, we don't need to actually take six prize cards. We can just take four prize cards and then go to GX for game. So there's a lot of potential with this. Um, yes, we are a two-shot deck, but 
The Jet Pierce is just so quick to get up and running. We don't need to take all the prize cards either necessarily. So the damage, we are giving that side of it a 9 out of 10. As for the defense, well, we've got a high HP. Plus, we've got healing with Mallow and Lana. Plus, we've got an inbuilt healing ability. So, we are hard to take down. We're really trying to make it, you know, with just our speed of the deck to put pressure on them, making it also hard for them to set up quick enough to get these KOs that they need before we've got all of our prize cards. So the defense, uh, we're also giving that a nine and a half out of 10. As for reliability, I found this build was pretty consistent. Out of all the games I played, it bricked up hard once once and in that bricking up i flipped three tails on our order pads three different order pads three tails it bricked up once the thing i will say about that game though when it bricked up it bricked up hard so every deck does though that's the reality if you just dead draw it can absolutely kill you but i found that this was pretty consistent at getting up and attacking super quickly and if it wasn't you could work things out generally well enough to get you through the match. So reliability, I'm giving that a 9.5 out of 10. And overall, I honestly think this is the best deck to ladder with right now because it's just so quick, efficient to play, easy to play, and super explosive. So overall, a 9.5 out of 10.